This tutorial shows teachers how to create simple online quizzes. In your gradebook, go to Post Juno Pods. Select the class and then Upload New. Then select New Juno Pod. Enter the title and then choose Test. You can also use Juno Pods to create lessons. This option will be covered in a later tutorial. You can then create the questions for your test or quiz. Use this menu to choose the question type. Set how many points the question is worth here. For multiple choice questions, type the question and then the answer choices. Click More to add more answer choices, then denote the correct one. Or you may check partial or extra credit to set different points for each answer. Multiple answer questions look similar, but there may be multiple correct answers, and students need to select them all. Check for each item if you want each item graded independently, or leave it unchecked if you want it graded all or nothing. True-false is self-explanatory. For matching questions, place each correct match on the same row. You can include more choices than stems and choose to randomize the stems or the choices or both. Sorting questions allow for students to drag items in order, like a sequence of events or order of values. Short answer is used for short write-in answers. You can grade these manually or choose automatic grading using these options for flexibility. Click More to add multiple acceptable answers. Long answer allows for students to enter longer text, like sentences or even essays. We'll cover how to manually grade write-in answers in another tutorial. Click New Question to add a new question, or add a new slide, which allows text for general instructions, reading passages, etc. Click and drag a question in the sidebar to change its order. Click Questions in Random Order so each student will see the questions shuffled in a different random order. Click Delete to delete the question. Click Media to insert an image, audio, or video. Click Format for text formatting or use the keyboard shortcuts for bold, italic, and underline. Note that the format options are intentionally kept simple so that the pod can easily scale for smartphones. Click Revert to re undo changes to the question. This applies only to the recent question. It won't undo all changes to the whole pod. The total points for the pod are displayed here. Click Copy Import to duplicate a question from the pod. This is handy if you are writing several questions that have the same answer choices. Or you can select another pod to copy other questions from. Or you can select Import to load questions from a text document. Click See Format to see the required text format. To align your questions to standards, click the Settings and then Subtotal Scores by Objectives. You can type in the objectives here, one per line, or choose from your school's set of standards or Common Core standards. Once applied, you can use this menu for each question to align it with an objective. Click Preview to see the pods from a student's perspective. See our other tutorials for instructions on setting pods online and other options.